Hello, welcome to another video. We're going to have a look at Porteous XFCE version 5.1 64-bit and see how this performs on this low power laptop. It's both low power in how much power it draws from the wall. It's about 7.5 watts at the moment, but it's also low power in terms of processor performance and the memory built-in. It's got a Celeron N3060 and two gigabytes of RAM and it's only got a 31 gigabyte eMMC in the system. So it's not great for more modern operating systems. The drive fills up and the slow performance is a little bit disappointing. But hopefully this operating system will boot up and we'll get to a desktop and we can have a look around. This is in real time. I haven't edited this or cut this. Assuming this boots up and doesn't take five minutes, um, we should be getting the desktop. Um, thanks to all the channel members and subscribers. Feel free to hit subscribe if you're not already. And I really appreciate it when people share these videos and leave comments. Um, it really helps. Let me know what you like seeing and learn things as well because someone out there is going to have more experience of this operating system than me because this is probably the second time I've ever tried it and the first time I've tried it on this laptop. So fingers crossed it's actually doing something um, behind the scenes. I think this might have crashed. Um, I'm going to have to switch to a different laptop to try and boot this operating system. So let's do that. Okay, so that completely failed. It's not booting on the HP stream. So I'm going to switch this off and switch over to an IBM ThinkPad X201. So this is the IBM ThinkPad X201. It's got Windows 10 on here, but we want to restart it and boot from the USB. Okay, so I'm going to select Porteous now and we'll see how quickly it boots up. This is what was missing from the HP Stream 11. So let's start this up and see how it goes. So this is version 5.1, meant to be lightweight. This has got a fan, so it is a little bit loud. This is an i5 first gen system with four gigabytes of RAM. I've plugged in a mouse and we're at the desktop and that was really quick and quite nice to see. So it's using XFCE. We've got system tools, task manager. We've got a terminal as you'd expect, sensor viewer. Lots of different tools there, multimedia, internet, graphics, accessories, settings, web browser and terminal emulator. So we can see that it's only using 617 megabytes of RAM at the moment. So it's not the memory that's an issue on the HP stream. It should have been able to run with just two gigabytes of RAM. We've got top. I don't think control C on this laptop actually works, which is kind of frustrating. I suppose we can use, yeah, if I use this side, control C. Hello, Willis. Um, let's see if we've got H top. Nope. Neo fetch. Nope. Okay. Let's connect to the internet and see how this performs. Okay, so it's not detecting my Wi-Fi. I'm going to just plug in this dongle, except, uh, yeah, I do have another USB socket over here. So I've got three USB sockets. One's a USB drive, one's a mouse, and now one is a network adapter, Wi-Fi adapter. So I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's go on the internet and see how it performs. So we've got to choose a web browser. Uh, 
and then we've got to give it the root password, which on this I think is either root or T O O R. Yeah, let's just go for hmm Firefox. And it's going to install that for us. Yep, sure. Okay, that seems to have downloaded the file for us. Is it not going to install it for us? Do we have to do that ourselves or did it install it? Let's see what happened. Again, it's given us the tool that lets us apparently Um, we've already downloaded it. This is frustrating. I just want to go on the internet. Why can I not just run a web browser? should probably look at the FAQ and see what the instructions say. Porteous is extremely lightweight in that it's less than 500 megabytes. And that means that you choose your own web browser and then install it yourself. We can run Lynx, which is a text web browser. Not really going to be much use, is it, uh, for what we actually want to do. So we've got the Firefox download in the temp folder. And the module has been activated successfully. So does that mean we can now go on the internet? Yay, we can. That was a little bit more difficult than I would have liked. But we should be good to open multiple things. This laptop has got four gigabytes of RAM. It's got an i5 processor. And let's just open five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different tabs. It's much quicker this laptop compared to the HP Stream 11. It just copes with websites much better. Now we're just waiting for the Wi-Fi to load. But yeah, let's open WebGL Aquarium. I think the interesting thing is that this laptop is an i5 processor, but the graphics are, I think, worse perhaps than the graphics in the HP Stream because the Celeron N3060 is a much newer processor. But we'll see. Yeah, computer does not support WebGL, so we're not really getting anything there. But let's have a look at YouTube and see how video playback is going to perform. I don't think there should be any problems because we've got four gigabytes of RAM. We've got an i5 processor. Let's see if there's some system information we can find. System info does seem to ask for the password quite a lot on this operating system, which is a shame system. Lenovo X201, CPU info, i5, M520 at 2.4 gigahertz, so four threads. And we've got quick battery information. And we're 
waiting for YouTube to load. Still waiting for YouTube to load, that seems a bit slow. Don't know why it's trying to do a theme refresh. I just want YouTube to load. So it's only using 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. CPU usage is quite low. We're just waiting for Firefox basically and YouTube. Here we go. You can hear the processor fan ramping up. Okay, let's go for a video. And we'll have a look at this video about this Pentium 4 laptop, which is this one just here. It's quite a nice laptop. This video is well worth having a look if you haven't watched it already. Feel free to click subscribe and you can join the channel if you want to support and get access to additional things. Let's see if we can skip this advert or mute it. Um, yeah, it's um, really appreciated when people share their videos and leave comments. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. So let's have a look at these settings. We'll switch off ambient mode. We'll go up to, well, we'll have a look at stats. It's using AV01 and 480. Although it seems to have dropped massively. Let's go for 720p. And it could be the network. We are using this little tiny TP-Link little Wi-Fi dongle that is tiny. Um, so the signal strength on that isn't great. Um, and it could be why we're struggling to load YouTube itself and this um, video. Yeah, the sort of connection speed does seem a little bit too slow. But I'll give it a pause and we'll come back when it's loaded. Okay, so it's loaded um, a section of this video and playback seems fine. Um, as you'd kind of expect from this laptop, it is a much more powerful laptop top than the HP stream so it's running really nicely. So this is Porteous. Um, there are seven different flavors Plasma KDE, Cinnamon Mate, XFCE, LXDE, LXQT and Openbox. So I've used the XFCE version and I quite like it. Um, it seems to work quite well. It works on this laptop. It did not work on the HP stream. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, if you've got an HP stream 11, then this may not be a good choice, but it may be different. Your HP stream may be a little bit different and may work. It may not. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Check out some of my playlists. There's a whole bunch of Linux videos and lots of different topics that you might find interesting if you found this video interesting. Thanks. Bye.